This is a Fairline Squadron 42. It's a 2015 model and some really neat details to this one. So I'm going to give you the full tour. We'll do the inside, the outside, the engine room, the flybridge, the decks, the lot. But in particular, I'm going to show you some of the ideas that they've had with this because I think there's some rather neat thinking going on with this. And it starts right here at the back. So we're used to seeing high-low bathing platforms. What they've done on this is a rather neat tender launching system. So your bathing platform is as you see it here. If you wanted to put a dinghy on, what you would do is there's a remote control that plugs in here. We hit the down button and just that center section there comes out and that goes all the way out and then lowers into the water to launch a dinghy. But what is clever is the fact that obviously you can't put a rib on here because this is flat. So what they've done is these sections here just swing over. There's one there and that one it's tricky with one hand but I've done it. There we go goes like that and you can see then how your tender would sit into that V and you've got a similar arrangement there and that launches and recovers but it means that when you're not using it it pretty much completely disappears and because again if I hit that button and we'll hit the up one this time you can imagine with your tender sat on there how that brings it in and, uh, and, and there she sits way underway. Obviously you put tie downs over it to keep it in place. There's another really nifty feature here. I'm gonna save that till last and I'll show you why at the end. But what we'll do is we'll head on board and we will do the full tour. Another thing I like is the canopies. Canopies come all the way around here. That's pretty normal. But what they've done with this one is rather than having to take them all off, they've got these bags and you can see the canopies just roll up. You can see it just there. So roll it up and then just zip it across and your canopies stay in situ, which means that firstly you don't have to stow them anywhere, and secondly when you come to put them down at the end of the day you just unzip those, drop them down, clip them on. Another thing I like is handrails about the place. So you've got them here, for example, so if you're out on the deck and the weather's not quite so good, you've got something to grab hold of. Anyway, let's head on inside. This, I think, is very nicely done. I like this colour scheme very much. I like the floor. I like the dark finish to the leather around here, and the dark wood around here, and then the light panelling. I think the contrast that that gives works particularly well and a very social area here as well because you've got seating on this side and of course seating then all the way around the table just here there's a high low tv you can see we've got it in the raised position at the moment so you can see how that looks and there's a harman kardon stereo system to go with that so speakers are up here and the control unit for that is down underneath there and that further above it is just a little bar area, it's full of bits and pieces at the moment, but that is where you'd put your glasses or bottles or whatever. And in case you're wondering, that is just a small storage area under the floor, so they're just trying to use every inch really. So that one, he's got life jackets in there at the minute, which is a sensible thing to keep to hand. So that's the saloon. If we head forward again, then the helm, or the lower helm I should say, because there's two helms on this boat, is up here. Love these seats, these look really smart with his contrast stitching. And then we've got very nice design to this. It's almost sort of architectural, isn't it, the way they've done this. There's a multifunction display here. You can see it's on charts at the moment. And then you've got your autopilot here, and then more navigation information is over here. Lovely Fairline steering wheel. I like the way they shaped that. That looks very nice. Engine controls are on this side. And then you've got things like your Volvo Penta start, stop buttons here, your VHF radio, and all your engine instrumentation is across there. And then your view out, obviously, through the windscreen and down across the foredeck. And another neat little detail is you see how it's got white lights about the place, as you would expect. Above the helm, they're red, so at night you can have these on without losing your night vision. That is a nice touch. Let's carry on this way. That one, in case you're wondering, is a searchlight control. So the searchlight's up on the top of the fly, which I'll show you that, and that's how you control it. So we'll step down here. The galley is down here on the lower deck. These lovely big treads as you go down. This is just a heater that's kept on board to keep a bit of warmth in. While the boat's not being used, obviously, if you're out using it, you wouldn't have that in place. It has its own heating system. Then down here, this is a load of storage in places like this and like this. And then at the back, that one is the fridge. And I like the way they put these little tea towel holders tucked away in here as well. That's nice. <laughs> Normally, never anyone to put those on a boat. Just tiny little things, but it just makes a difference. Drawers here, so this is your yeah, cutlery, for example, and then a load more storage underneath. It's all electric cooking, so you've got your combination microwave and you've got your hob up on top, and you've got windows in behind here, and that section there is an opening section, so you've got a bit of ventilation in here if you want it. That's a decent galley area, isn't it? 
And finally, just because people say what's under the floor, I'll show you. That is just another storage area. So then the cabins are further forward. If we go right to the front, first of all, this is the master cabin. Again, the colour scheme in here I think is fantastic. You've got the main lights overhead, but in fact, if I find the light switch, which is here, you can switch those out and just have the subtle lighting along the sides. And I don't know whether you can see it, but it's down underneath the bed as well. So that is rather lovely. And those are independently switched, so you can take those off as well. Just have the main lights on or have them all on. The other thing that you'll notice is this big run across the top. What's underneath here is Brilliant. Skylights. And there's another one further forward. In fact, that forward one is an opening one. And then these are fixed. So you can have that open if you want and get a ton of natural light into here. That's really good. Let's pull that one back across. And leave it as we found it. This is all storage along here. So up in places like this, And then you've got a hanging locker over here. There's uh, AV equipment, so your TV is on here as well. And if you come around this side again, more storage on that side. And there is a drawer underneath the bed as well. So that's your master cabin. A really good sized bed in there as well, which is nice. And then back from here, it has its own ensuite. So you've got your toilet just here and the sink and then there is a completely separate shower area so this of course closes off both of these and that means you've got a shower area that doesn't get everything wet when you have a shower and that again a bit more storage. So that's the ensuite for this cabin. If we go back a little bit further we will find the day heads that's in here Again, completely separate shower stall, which is nice. So that's in there. And then the loo, and you'll see there's a door here. And the reason it has that is because that means that at night, that can be the ensuite to the second cabin. And that's in here. So you can see there's a doorway through there into that same area. This again has got the funky lighting. So if we drop down here, we can switch off like that and then just have, you can see under the bed and down the sides, the back lighting, or we can have everything on. Decent cabin, you've got two single beds in here. You've got AV equipment again, and then hanging locker in there, and so forth. Very good. Okay, let's press on a bit further. So come back out of here, back through the galley area. And we'll go and take a turn around the decks and take a look at the flybridge. So we'll come right back out here. This one, incidentally, is a manual bilge pump. So there's electric pumps, there's a backup pump there. And these then are diverters, so you can decide where you want to pump from. These are fuel shutoffs for the generator and the port and starboard engine. And the automatic fire extinguisher has a manual pull there as well. Another neat little touch is back here because this is a rope bin. So you can put your rope around the cleat, tie it off, drop it down through there, and that then keeps your ropes all nice and tidy. Let's have it this way. I like the lighting on here. You've got lighting, as you can see, these little fellows, but they're all the way around the deck. You can see them around there. And then we'll head up this way and take a look at the foredeck. So what you have here are inset sections for sunbathing cushions, and that's what these tracks are for. So you can put cushions into here, and that obviously makes that a forward sunbathing area. And this is this large glazing area. You can see the other side of that blind that I pulled across. <laughs> There's always one. <laughs> that's the broker.
And if we come right to the front, obviously electric anchor winches here with the buttons to operate that. I love these little fair leads and the cleats. They're all so nicely shaped and detailed. That's really good. And then underneath this one is the anchor chain locker. And there's room in there for a couple of fenders as well. We'll head back down this side. Good side decks on here. Nice boat to move around. These are the navigation lights and the squadron badges, another handrail just here, help you down. And then we'll come right round and head up to the flybridge. So that's up here. Again, we've got low level lighting. You can see it dotted around the place exactly as it has around the outside of the boat. This is quite nifty. This is the bar area. So you've got your barbecue underneath here and your sink is under that one. But what they've done then is if we pull this one, that is the fridge. And on the other side is the ice maker. That's a neat little unit. They've come right round to the front. Then this is the upper helm position. So again, you've got repeaters for things like the multifunction display, the navigation readouts. There's a stereo control up here, the VHF radio, engine controls, of course, and your engine instrumentation. What's nice about this is just how much visibility you get. So when you're maneuvering, you can stand up here and you can really see all around the boat. And in fact, even if you're reversing, you can look down through that hatch and you can actually see the very back edge of the boat. So as you're backing up to a pontoon, you can place it very easily. You can walk right around here on both sides. Another nice touch is this seat because you've got obviously seating for two here. Somebody else can join you for the ride, but also you can flip that the other way and that makes a great place to relax. And dare I say, even tuck yourself away if you want to. And then behind that, this one is just a bin and then a load of seating around the back of the boat and this table, a great place to come and dine of an evening on a warm summer's night. Very nice indeed. If you come right to the back then, this little fellow, that's the radar. You've got the horns here. A TV aerial is there. And that one is the searchlight. I mentioned those buttons at the lower helm that control the searchlight. That's what they direct and light up. And then nev lights up on the top. So that's the flybridge. Let's go and have a look at the mechanical bits. So if we come back down here, this whole section of floor lifts up. And that gives us access to the engines. So we'll step around here. And in we go. Now in here, we've got a pair of Volvo Penta D6 435 engines. So 435 horsepower each. And they're a straight shaft drive. In fact, you can see the shafts at the back here. So you've got a gearbox in the back of the engine and then the shafts. These are going to give the boat, I'm going to say about 30 knots, I'd expect, with these engines and range, I guess, up to about 300 miles at fast cruising speed further if you drop the speed right back, of course. But nice for you to get right up in between these. It's a 42 foot boat, so you're not going to get standing headroom, but you can get right up into here. You've got your raw water strainers are here. Fire extinguishing system is up there on the bulkhead. And if we come back from here, then you've got things like the fuel tank throughout board. These are the exhaust silencers and then items like the battery charging system. That's all here on the rear bulkhead where it's easy to reach. But all very, very clean, I have to say. Look at this. Considering it's, what, six years old now? It's looking good. And the other thing that we have here, if we raise ourselves back up and over this bulkhead, then down here, you can get to systems like the heating system. So that's the central heating, it's diesel fired. So it runs from the uh, diesel fuel and you can get right back then to the steering gear. You've got storage here, fishing rods, as you can see. Generator lives in here as well. So that powers all the 240 volt stuff when you're away from the marina. And then batteries, I think that is over on that side. And there's also all the circuit breakers live along here as well, where you can reach them easily. Very good. Now, there's one last thing to show you that I really like about this boat. So, we'll come back up out of here. Drop this one back down. And this, I think, is such a simple idea, but it works so well. If I move that out of the way, these, incidentally, let's just drop that down there. That unplugs when you're not using it. These are doors that come across the back so that, say on the other side of course, 
it means that you can just close this area off if you want to. But the thing I wanted to show you was not that. It's this. This seat here, that is pretty normal to sit there and you can maybe put a couple of chairs on this side and a table and eat around there, whatever you want. But if you're an anchor, of course, and as you sit here, all you look at is the inside of your boat, unless you've got one of these, because then you can pull that. Check that out. Such a simple feature, but it means that now I can sit here. I've got a view out across the back of the boat. And that, I think, is rather lovely. So there it is. That's a Fairline Squadron 42. It's a sale with Sultan's Brokerage, so I'll put a link to those guys in the description. Huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching. If you've not subscribed, do me a favour, hit that little button because it really helps the analytics and let you know each time I upload a new video. And we'll catch you on another one very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.